wants to get us underway. Bobby? Hi, Edzo. Um, what did you say to your players at half time? Because there were a lot better than the second half. No, I just said uh, in a delicate way that we need to be a little bit more accurate. I think first half, we start the first 10, 15 minutes very good. We score a goal and we had two, three more chances, clear chances with the Noni. And then we start to lose easy ball. And when you lose easy ball, you concede counter-attacker, you concede set pieces, you lose confidence. And this already happened the other day against Servette, that uh, we, lose easy, we lose easy ball. And yeah, I just said uh, that uh, to play in the way we want to play, we need to be a little bit more accurate. We can lose the ball if the opposite, they press, they press us very intense, but we cannot lose the ball just giving away for a uh, wrong decision. So I think the difference between first half and second half was just about uh, be a bit more accurate. Here. Hi. Um, Noni Madawirke, you could probably tell he annoyed a few Wolves fans with what he said on social media overnight. But were you happy with how he responded and dealt with being targeted with boots? Uh, to be honest, I didn't know. Uh, they just mentioned me now, but I didn't know before the game about Noni uh, social social post post. Uh, I can judge Noni a performance that has been fantastic. Not only second half, even first half. As I said, the first time fifty minutes, he was always one v one creating something. Since day one, I said that is the the kind of winger that I really like. He's working very good with us. But the best thing for me from today, from Noni, was not the Atric, was the way he defend 90 minutes, a counter-attacker there. Uh, and that showed the right mentality that uh, I'm demanding from, I'm asking the players. And was for Noni, was for Kriston Kunku, that he played five minutes and he was pressing everyone. Joao Felix did the same. So if we want to build something important, I think, first of all, you need the right mentality. And from all of them, was very good. John? John? <coughs> Did you want to go? Oh, Charlie. Now, w will you have to remind your players what to, you know, to to not put stupid stuff on social media, though? Will you have to have a conversation just to remind your players to be careful? Uh, I'm, I'm a kind of person that I like trust people and f uh, thinking that people, they are mature enough to know what the, it's correct and what is not correct. So in this case, I think uh, Noni is mature enough to understand that if what he did was correct or not correct. But on Colt Palmer as well, um, he had a, played a part in all six goals. Is there a better player, a young player in the Premier League when he's on form like that? Yeah, Connor, uh, Cole, sorry. Uh, yeah, Cole. You know, I know Cole from already five, four, five years. I had him one entire entire season at City with the second team, and then with the first team. So I know him very, very good. He's a special player. He's a special guy, a special person, and I'm not surprised at all about the goal he scored last year, the goal he scored today, the assist, because uh, Cole is a uh, is a top player. Can I just check on Romeo Lavia as well? Yeah. Romeo had uh, armstring problem in rotation. We see, hopefully, it's not uh, long, but these kind of things at the end always require some 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 days or week. We see. What do you think this this win today will do for your team's confidence? Uh, it's always good to win games. Uh, I think we already won one game the other day in the Conference League, so they are two in a row. Hopefully, we can build some momentum from there and to continue to improve. But I said, I said many times that uh, for us, the target in this moment is to, to see the way we improve, to improve players. They are just asking me now about the different things, but I said that no one from the club asked me to compete for the Premier League or to compete for a Champions League spot. They just asked me to improve uh, players, to improve the team. And also, I think in this moment, the target is a little bit uh, to solve the economic economic problem in terms of the reason why we need to sell players and we need to do some things. So the main target in this moment is that uh, we solve this kind of problems and then from there we try to do our best and we see where we where we arrive. 
in the back. Yeah. Right, um, what was the thing you were taking with your passport? Say again, sorry. Because I was not happy. Uh, because I think uh, we can, in some moment, we can manage better some situation. Uh, it was working very good off the ball, very hard, and I think that was very good. And then in terms of uh, on the ball, I just expect a bit more uh, quality from, from uh, Misha. But uh, he, he did, for me, he had some good moment the other day, he had some good moment today, and the reason why was just uh, to change and give Pedro some minutes. Nick. Uh, hi. Um, for Cole Palmer's goal, um, Sanchez's pass, as soon as, the, as soon as the goal was scored, a lot of the players who were close to Sanchez you know, mopped in and celebrated. Yeah. Uh, I know you've talked about what you want in terms of distribution from a goalkeeper, but so how pleased are you that you lost that? No, no, but uh, I, I said many times it's we start less one one month a, one one month and a half ago, but uh, I said many times when there is space in behind, we need to attack in behind like that. They were all in our side, so we try to attack in behind. But when they sit back, it's difficult because there is no space in behind. So we need more passes, more process. Uh, but uh, as I said, we are in a moment where we start less than two months ago. There are many things that the player, they are still learning. Sometimes we can play quicker, sometimes we can play slowly, but uh, this is just with timing that we're going we're gonna to improve. Last one, Paul. You said a little bit earlier about the club not giving you um, expectations of what to achieve. What is it that you actually want to achieve this season with the players, other than just general improvement? Yeah, I, want to, I want to see my team playing the way we want to play, compete every game, that this is the most important thing team that uh, on the ball has a clear idea what they want, off the ball a very aggressive team. I think today for some moment we start to see our team in terms of we were pressing and and yeah and then in terms of squad try to improve the players. I feel very lucky, I feel very happy. I said since day one that I think the squad is, is very good. Uh, and I feel lucky because there are many players that they are versatile, they can play in different positions. That is something that I really like. And and then yeah and then then we see where we arrive. But the most important thing is to try to be better game after game. Is it lucky that the club don't ask you to win the Champions, uh, win the the league, or get Champions League position? No, I. No, I think also. I, I, no, I don't. Feel, I feel lucky because of the squad, because of the players. I don't feel lucky because the club didn't ask me to win the Premier League or to compete for Champions League spot. Also because I think that uh, if you think about us, about a team that three years ago won the Champions League, okay, but also you have to think that in the last two years we finished 12, we finished 6, so now suddenly we want to win the Premier League or compete for Champions League spot, that is no reality. So I think we can build something important through the time, month, year, and we, gone, we can arrive again to compete for that competition. So that was the expectation, the, 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 the margin between winning the, the league and where you finished is, it was so large that it was in, impossible to fill that gap. Yeah, I, I, I think you need the process. It's not uh, that you can uh, suddenly start to compete with this kind of team. I said uh, that they are always there. I said many times, I think for me the difference between us and Arsenal and City in this moment is that uh, City is working with the same manager eight, nine years, Arsenal is working with the same manager four, five years, and Chelsea is working with the, sa the same manager less than two months. So this is the, the big difference for me between us and them in this moment. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <coughs>